Welcome back to Ann's Boxing Channel. Let's talk about David Benavidez, quote unquote, ducking David Morrell to choose Jaime Munguia. Yo salgo a la calle buscando mi gente cuando de repente todos los delincuentes que queden mi vida, buena mala suerte que son mi familia, no importa la sangre. Jesús, agua en vino. The fight that boxing wants, the fight that we would all rather see, the fans of boxing, is David Benavidez versus David Morrell. That fight is. It's, that's a fire fight. <laughs> that's a firecracker, you know what I mean? But it's just being honest and just being, it, it is what it is. Who has David Morrell really for? I'm unbiased. I don't really care that much. I mean, I do like, I like both guys. I, I, I feel like I like David Benavidez more because I've seen more about David Benavidez. Um, so I, I would say I like him more, but I don't like him more to the point where, I don't like any fighter more to the point where I'm like going to, be biased. I wouldn't be biased. The truth is the truth. I'm not going to face the truth and look stupid. You feel me? So in my opinion and the truth for what I see it as, who has David Morrell really for? I mean, I, I, I want David Morrell versus David Benavidez more than I would want David Benavidez versus Jaime Munguia, right? But you got to think, it might not even be up to David Benavidez. It might be in David, like, like what makes more sense on paper is David Benavidez versus a Jaime Munguia. Right, Jaime Mugia coming off of his Thurvachenko win, um, which I don't know how solid that was. I saw the fight, and it was just so competitive for me that I, I don't even know. I didn't even know who to, who, who to give that fight to, you know what I mean? Because it was so competitive. Um, was it a robbery? Was it not? I got to go back and rewatch that one for sure because I only seen it once. But um, that was tough. But anyways, for the sake of the point that I'm making, right? Um, David Benavidez was Jaime Mugia. Jaime Mugia is coming off of beating Thurvachenko. Jaime Munguia is more known. He got like 40 fights already, whatever. Like, he's just more known, you know? Makes more sense. David Morrell isn't as known as Jaime Munguia. And David Morrell has like, well, I don't, think he got, I don't even think he got 10 fights. You know what I mean? And no name on his resume. I don't think he has a single really solid name on his resume. So, um, you know, not trying to... Not, you know, him, I feel like David Morrell should fight somebody like an Anthony Durrell. Um, a Caleb Plant, if you could, get, if, if Plant would be willing to fight him, because that's a risky fighter. Just a, a solid name, you know what I mean? Make the fight make sense, because right now where it stands, it don't really fully make sense on paper. And you gotta understand that business ain't just a um, boxing ain't just a sport; it's also business. I've that's what I've been learning lately. You feel me? That's why, like even Crawford Spence, I used to get so tight about that fight. But I, I, I get it. I, I know, I know, I know how everything, whatever, like. You got to understand the business. You can't be a fan of boxing and not understand the business because you're only going to drive yourself crazy expecting certain fights that just ain't realistic to happen at the moment because them promoters, them networks, they want their money. They want their money just like the fighters want their money. They want their money like the fighters want their money and just like the fans want the fights. You feel me? So everybody got to win. But um, don't get me wrong. I would love to see that fight, David Benavidez versus David Morrell. I just don't think that's a fight that's really going to happen right now. If it does happen, it'll shock me. And I feel if it happens, it'll happen because David Benavidez. Because for that fight to happen, David Benavidez would have to put his fight down and say, nah, I don't care what makes sense. I want him. I don't care what makes sense. I want him because he talking. He talking greasy. And I don't care about all that. I, I want him. You feel me? That's what will make that fight happen right now. And, um... Maybe they, I could see David Benavidez being that crazy, but I don't know because I feel like, I don't know. It's just, it's iffy to me. I really don't know. But, um, you know, I don't take it as a duck if David Benavidez fights Munguia over um, David Morrell. David Morrell's doing what he got to do though right now, what he's supposed to do, hunt. You know what I mean? He's the fighter coming up. He, 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 he hungry. He hunting. He on the hunt. So I don't take nothing away from him. You feel me? Call him a duck. Call him a Tell him that when he said that um, he'll get his shoes taken in Cuba. He saw if he ain't the monster, he ain't no monster. You get your shoes taken in Cuba, boy. You ain't nothing, boy. So just talk that talk, you feel me? Um, but yeah, that's just my point on it. Anyways, if y'all agree, y'all disagree, let me know in the comment section below. But let me know why. I want to know why. I don't want to hear you just say, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're dumb. Know what I mean? Tell me why I'm dumb so I can understand why I'm dumb. I'm out. Coño, sube eso hasta arriba. Vamos, dale duro. Yo salgo a la calle buscando mi gente cuando de repente todos los delincuentes que queden mi vida buena mala suerte que son mi familia no importa la sangre. Jesús y su agua en vino.